I've been watching smoke detector videos lately and I've decided to help out. I demo the ones at my house because I also have an interest in smoke detectors. This one I have labeled radioactive. I labeled it several years ago um, because these things do indeed have radioactive material, the ionization types. This one actually, I mean, on 27th of this month, this thing needs to be replaced probably. But, um, there it is. No, I'm, I'm, Contains radioactive material. This device contains 0.9 microcurie of americium 241. This detector is distributed under U.S. Nuclear License Number 32-23858-01. For further information, refer to the owner's manual. He had the manual for this. I don't know where it is though. Shot battery in it. Let's go ahead and test it. We go upstairs into the hallway where the bedrooms are. We find a very old model that was in this house when we moved here. The first smoke detector I showed was actually used to have the same one, same model there, but it went off in the kitchen one day and would never turn off because it messed up. This one's well over 10 years old. This house I think was built in 83 and this one was probably put there when the house was first built, so it's probably a 25 year old detector. I know it should be replaced. This one is AC powered. You can see the light lights up constantly. The LEDs way back in there. Um, okay. It's got that kind of alarm. Buzz. There's the test button on the side. I saw it got radioactive material. The one that was in the kitchen that kept on going off, I had taken out and actually made it into something back in 2001 or 2002 is another thing happened probably. I made it into the smoke detector speaker a long time ago. Um, I put a speaker inside the thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you play music out of it. <laughs> There's some shots of it so you can at least see what the machine looks like. Contains radioactive material, Maricim 2411, the nuclear license number thing. This one, of course, ran off AC. Single and or multiple station smoke detector. Business. Here's a first alert smoke detector. Uh, this is the same one shown in another smoke detector video that I think they said was a 1993 model. This was in the house when we moved here. It's inside this here. It's very common type. It's got the buzzer with one hole there with the, the piezo type buzzer. Of course it's got the radioactive material inside it. Um, it's down inside that the sensor case right there. There's the LED and the test button metal plate. The battery. Uh, that's talking about that chirp thing I think about replacing the battery. Model number 83R the smoke sensitivity, all that stuff. Um, it says this one's made in Mexico. So, it's a good smoke detector. Still works, as far as I know. This one here I found at an estate sale. It's a General Electric model. I saw this in another guy's video. Let's see. It contains radioactive material, Americium 241. This one, unlike most of them, contains two microcuries of Americium 241 in it. Okay, single station smoke detector. Um, the battery usage, about testing, and more information right there. This one is made in Ireland. Interesting. It's got a nice um, little funneled horn thing on the piezo buzzer. Of course, it's got the can there that has already got the material and the little components on the circuit board, nine volt powered. As you can see, 
the radioactive material you can see is that post right there the little circle on it you can see the radioactive material inside when you push the test button it pushes a metal plate it pushes a metal plate right down onto the radioactive material to test it pretty interesting So that's this one right here. Model number 8201-401C. Of course, I really like to take apart things, so probably around the 2001-2002 era, um, I've taken apart several smoke detectors. The one that I made into the smoke detector speaker I showed earlier, this is the circuit board that came out of it. Look how big the radiation chamber is. Look at how big the radiation chamber in this one is. Um, you can see down in there clearly the radioactive material is down in there. Circuits, transistor, resistor, stuff. Now, for some reason, I would notice on these smoke detectors, they always have a hole on the bottom of the circuit board, right where the radioactive material is. The board from another detector. I think I got the case to it somewhere, but I'm not sure where the case for it is. Caution radioactive material, just like the other one. This one had a problem where the alarm would constantly go off when the battery was on it. But you can see it there as well. It also has the hole where the radioactive material is located. To this one that has that problem, I want to put a battery on it, and it just turns on. This one I kind of took stuff off a bit. I took the buzzer out. The buzzer for that is right here, just the piezo type. I had soldered wires to it because I wanted to use it in circuits that I build. The top metal can that was on top of the chamber I also took off. It was all rusted as well. But you have a great view of the radioactive material right in that hole right there. There's the chip right there. And then there's the bottom of it. There you can see a small hole where the radiation source is. Here's a neat one. Maybe from the 70s or something. I don't know. It had a bigger case. I'm not sure where its case is. Now, I saw some videos that used a 22 point, I mean a 12.6 volt battery. This one used a 10.7 volt. I never don't, I don't know where you get these weird batteries, but this one used some weird battery. Let's see. I don't even see a test button on this thing. I mean, that's how odd this, this one is. Uh, this one also has a very interesting way to it. As most of these detectors have Americium 241 inside, this one's got 0.05 microcuries of radium 226. I loosened, back, back in the day, back when I took it apart, loosened those metal brackets off the ionization chamber, and here we have it. The golden colored radium 226 on the inside of that little chamber. We also see a round socket, the same kind of socket used for a lot of old vacuum tubes, the smaller types. I don't know what that socket is, labeled M1, M2, M7. I don't know what that's for. Something to do with the connection on the radiation chamber. Take that off. It, well. I don't know exactly how I did this, but...